Welcome back to the show. My name is Elliot Desai and you're watching On The Trend, a show for showcasing original voices in arts and entertainment. Today, I have the hilarious Mac Does It and the incomparable Corrizi. Give yourselves a round of applause. Have you two ever talked to each other before? Not verbally. I think the most we've had is like DMs. Hey girl. Hey. Yeah, a couple DMs here and there, and that's about it. No, it's crazy because I literally used to watch Max videos. Used to? <laughs> oh no, no, stop! <laughs> I'm, joking. I'm joking! No, no, no! <laughs> No, I still watch okay. your videos. Please it's don't okay. think that. I've been obsessed with you for a while. I'm so happy to see your blow up. Like you're you're literally killing it, and it's making me so proud. I like I like just I guess Ellie, you understand because me and Ellie we've known each other for a while. But you know, like back in the day, seeing a YouTuber blow up like that was such a rare thing. But nowadays, it happens so more often, and when it happens, I'm still so excited to see it. Oh my god, thank you so much. This is already fantastic. This is exactly. I mean, we could end the video here. This is all I wanted. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just wanted Mac yeah. to get on here and praise Courtney. That was it. We can close the video now. <laughs> I'm gonna pour myself. Oh, you're a white wine drinker? I'm oh, a daytime white wine drinker. I can't get into white wine. White wine to me tastes like burnt potato chips. I don't know why. Maybe I just haven't had some good white wine before. So you're drinking tequila margarita, Matt? Yes, I'm drinking some hibiscus haze margarita, hibiscus flowers, cinnamon, fresh lime juice, cane sugar, and mint infused water. And what are you drinking, Courtney? Just uh, Stella Rosa black. Stella Rosa is like very sweet, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I like. Okay, so I would call you both comedians. Would you agree? No. Okay, <laughs> tell me more. I don't, I mean, I did win an award for being a YouTube comedian. I still find that hilarious, because I can, I call myself a YouTube comedian. Yeah, sure, mm -hmm. I do comedy on YouTube, that's great, but I do not call, call myself a comedian comedian, because stand up. Mm -mm. I'll literally no. embarrass myself. If I ever stepped into a room and said a joke and nobody in the audience laughed, I would just like, I couldn't. I would cry. I couldn't. I would break down right then and there. So I have so much respect for comedians because they put themselves out in such a like, I feel like an uncomfortable situation every single time. And I can't do that. I can't, I can't. stand up. I literally can't. Even being called a comedian, like I feel like I just, I just act like myself. So it's not, it's weird when people are like, oh, you're a comedian. No, mm, don't call me yeah, that, please. I'm a comedic personality, but I am yeah. a comedian. It's too much pressure. Yeah, these jokes aren't planned. <laughs> And then I'm horrible at like public speaking, so like doing stand up, it'll just that'll be embarrassing, very embarrassing. Comedians aside, then who are your like actual who are your inspirations? Then would you say? Um, Christian Wig from SNL. Okay. I would say I was a huge. I mean, I still am kind of a big SNL fan, but I was a very very big SNL fan around the time she was on SNL, and I was obsessed with her. Every single skit she did was complete golden and all that stuff. Also the Amanda Show. Oh my God, I love the Amanda Show. <laughs> I loved it. I guess I have like a favorite YouTuber. Yeah, no, and literally open, it's open to anybody. His name, he's a gamer, but his name is Corey X Kenshin. Oh my God, I love him so much. I just, I just started watching his videos literally a couple weeks oh ago. God, and I've really? been literally just binge watching him. Cause I started watching like iBreezy. Oh and, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Jazzy Guns and all that stuff. And so he popped up my recommendations recently. And I was like, who is this? He's getting like millions and millions of views. And he's hilarious. hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Crazy thing is like my friend, she was watching him for a long time and she was telling me, you have to watch his videos. You have to watch it. So I did and I've been obsessed ever since, honestly. How about you? What about you? Tell people about you. Yeah. I mean, Me? Yeah. What is on what is on the trend? Oh my gosh. Okay, so on the trend is the most vibrant dynamic talk show that has hit the internet. Um, my name's Elliot Desai. I'm about to be 25 years old. Been living in Los Angeles for the past seven years. I think of myself as more of like a host and more of like a radio show type personality. Half my videos are showcasing people like you. The other half is just like exploring my own personal interests. My goal is like to eventually one day have like my own publication where I get to actually like just hire my friends to uncover and showcase really cool people and really cool places and things to do. Well, sign me up once this YouTube thing like unravels for me, you know? I'm, I'm right on board with you. <laughs> no, I need my like content head. <laughs> it's like you're both confronting uncomfortable, weird stuff that you find on the internet and then like adding your personality. I've always been attracted to like weird, obscure things on the internet. I mean, that's, I mean, we both come from like the early stages of YouTube and that was like the big thing with those weird, just like random, just like messy videos. I don't know how I find it. It's just, it just comes to me now. Same here, honestly. That's literally how I got, I get my ideas, my recommended page, and then also my TikTok. And my For You page is kind of weird sometimes. So 
What do you see as the difference between what you guys are able to say and do online versus what these white creators can do online? We can say the N word. <laughs> <laughs> You already know, I do a lot of videos in the perspective of what I'm a gay black man, so I do a lot of videos in the perspective of a gay black man. I make a lot of reaction videos and all that stuff. For the longest time, I never thought what I did was a big groundbreaking thing. I guess that's just the Gen Z in me, you know? Social justice is just a thing that we do, because we, we all grew up on Tumblr. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just a normal thing that I did, and so when people started saying it was like a, a big, powerful thing, and I was doing reaction to all these videos, I was like, oh, really? I mean, these videos exist, and I'm a gay black man, I'm gonna talk yeah. about it, because they're there in front of my face, I'm gonna respond. Mm -hmm. The one thing I guess we can do is we can talk about our identity. There's a lot of white people in this world that don't know that much about the black identity. And so we make videos talking about it. A lot of people get very invested in it because they're like, oh yeah, what, what do black people think about this stuff? Yeah, I agree, wholeheartedly agree. I feel like it's nice that we're able to actually have conversations about like the black identity and like, I don't know, do stuff that I guess white content creators won't understand and won't ever be able to understand, but they can try, you know? One of the first videos I found of yours is you reacting to YouTubers' apology videos. And then you did it to TikTokers' apology videos. Like, you really hit this head on and said, uh oh, who are these racists? And let me call them the fuck out. Honestly, when I did that video, it seemed like, because I was using TikTok a little bit, I wasn't really using it a lot, but I was seeing a whole bunch of people being called out for saying the N word. I don't know what it, what was happening, but. Like a genre of itself. <laughs> literally, a whole genre. It was like apology video after apology video. And I felt like, you know what? Let me write them. I'm black. You know, let me just do it. Why not? It started a conversation, I guess. You know, like people started to realize like, why are there so many people? Why is it that every single time someone becomes big on whatever platform it is, the n-word has to pop up like what's going on it has to for some reason it's like a way of yeah like i literally said i think it's a sacrifice like they they make that sacrifice to become famous because it's like how how is it that everybody's going through the same cycle the devil comes up to them saying you will be famous but you say have to the n-word yeah five times. <laughs> it's crazy black content creators really do set the standard like you really are like the leaders in content creation do you see people kind of just like ripping off i'm sure yes the answer is Yes, but like all the time. Oh yeah, I mean, the, the the creators that get the most viral are always emulating some type of AAV, yeah. especially on Vine. Vine was the big was a big time. A lot of these creators were doing know. that, you know, and it still it still happens on TikTok. TikTok for me is like the biggest example of Black content creators creating the dances, creating the trends, creating basically everything that makes TikTok what it is. But white or oops, should I say that? <laughs> The other races of people reaping the benefits, okay? Yeah, so. Are you like aware of like the impact you're actually having on the industry? Well, I do. I mean, at first I didn't until I would get comments from like black boys and black girls telling me like, oh my God, you honestly inspired me to make videos or um, it's crazy to see a black girl with actually growing this fast and actually growing at all on YouTube, you know? So that was like my first experience of realizing like, Maybe I am making an impact, you know? Maybe maybe I'm actually inspiring people to just do what you wanna do, honestly. People who are like in their late 20s and like 30s know who you are. And so are there, is there anything like you just want people to know that you haven't exposed already? She's single, she's looking. She's like <laughs> <laughs> well, I am looking, I am looking. I create content and I love doing it and I'm gonna continue for as long as I can. Courtney, I'm gonna tell you right now, once quarantine is up, we're going to see each other a lot Yay. more. You don't understand how excited I am for you to see the community. There's a lot in this industry. This industry has a lot of freaking money. Don't be afraid to reach out. You know, there's so many of us that like, especially because you are a fellow Negro. <laughs> A lot of us are here to help you grow because it is it is a weird battle for us on this on this site. Feel free to call me and text me about things. I'm just happy to be the vehicle. I mean, who's Elliot to say? <laughs> I was listening to the beginning of um, Mac's podcast, Messy, and um, he's a millionaire. Did you know that, Courtney? <laughs> a million? I mean, I kind of expected it. I kind of expected it. But wow. <laughs> I was talking about it on my podcast. I, I have a net worth of over a million dollars, apparently, according to the internet. And I was like, where is it? What do you where? mean? <laughs> Wait, when I search my name, it says I'm worth $2 billion. I don't know who lied. Yeah, I don't know who's making these up Just, because my friend said also he was worth $5 million, And I was like, what's happening here? Oh my God. Why? People are just out here lying, making it seem like I got money, money. I don't have money, money. 
Right. Anyone that's watching this, who watches my videos, just know that a lot of the sponsors that I'm doing goes back into my family. That's the reason why I'm doing so many sponsors recently. But I, what I consider being successful is being able to help other people in times of need. And during all this quarantine situation, this is the first time in my life where I fully felt like my career choice has really made me successful. Literally, it's crazy to know like literally last year, my account was in the negatives. Like it was in the negatives. <laughs> and now I'm here literally helping like my friends and family with like rent or something like if they need help. Just like you were saying, like it feels good. It feels like what I'm doing is, you know, making sense. Like it's worth it, you know? Matt, did you know that Courtney's moving to LA soon? You are? Oh my god, you're joining the- I'm born and raised in LA. I'm an LA native. Any secret snacking places? I got you with my friends. Yeah, Elliot was trying to help me with like different locations in LA and stuff. If I'm hearing both of you correctly, um, are we starting a uh, collab house? Is that is are we all moving into the same house yeah, together? Yeah, we're starting a creator house. Okay, okay. It just it just Mac, Courtney, and Elliot. Just the three of us. <laughs> like th I'm thinking I'm thinking three stories. Okay, um, Courtney gets the top. Mm -hmm. and he gets the third story. <laughs> uh, Mac, you get the second story, so you can have plenty of space. And I'll take the first floor, so I can just like whip around in a car, maybe have a little <laughs> studio. I I told her she go, she should go to East LA, like the Los Feliz. <laughs> Girl, if you go to East LA, nobody's gonna visit you. What do you mean? <laughs> Are you kidding? Where do you recommend, Matt? He lives in the valley. I I, I currently live in the valley. Yeah, so like who's it. visiting you in the valley? Nobody's visiting me in the <laughs> yeah, valley. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, it, what do you want in, in a place in Los Angeles? I mean, honestly, like I'm looking for some, cause I wanna move with like two of my friends and we're looking for a place that's, you know, obviously nice and safe, but also not a place where like parking is an issue. The valley is always the best start point for transplants because it's reasonable with cost. There's a lot of parking here. He's gonna sell you on the valley and I am not. But a lot of people move to Hollywood because they think that's the place to be. It's Hollywood, Hollywood, but people don't understand how, I'm gonna say this lightly, ghetto no, Hollywood I know. is. <laughs> yeah, it's so scary. Yeah, that's I live by the Beverly Center. I don't really, I like live in Hollywood, but I live near the Beverly Center. It's different. The Beverly Center is good, it's but like nice, Hollywood, yeah. Hollywood, like by like the, the people, like the Hollywood, like the Walk of Fame is uh, no, I've seen over a hundred years old. I've seen and it. it hasn't been updated. It has not been updated. So a lot of these buildings are like really, really old, falling apart. When I went for the first time, I was very, I was like, okay, these are the stars. Okay. Okay, so what's yeah. next? <laughs> Wait, what do you guys have planned for the rest of your Saturdays? I'm just editing. I gotta edit a podcast and all that stuff. I'm just editing all day today. Wow, so you edit your YouTube videos and the podcast? Yeah. She bought and feel sleep. And you're working out? Yes. I started going to the gym, whatever. I'm trying to get my body right. <laughs> I need to get back. I haven't worked out in like two months. I need to get back into it. Oh wow, before this, I hadn't worked out in like a year. Cause I was working <laughs> out, I was working out uh, the beginning of 2020 and then COVID hit and then I just. Just, it, it all took a break. It all yeah. took a pause. Yeah. Well, hey, this is great. I really don't know how to close out this. I'll do it for you, I'll do it for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Mac, that's Courtney, and that's Elliot. And this has been On The Trend with Elliot Desai. Okay, Courtney, your turn. <laughs> oh, um, I'm Courtney, that's Mac, and that's Elliot Desai, and this is On The Trend. Oh my gosh, yes it is. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Follow me on Instagram at Elliot Desai, at Watch On The Trend. Also, did you guys know there's a website? Yes, I did. And it's 12 simple letters, ElliotDesai.com. I made it so easy. So easy. How could you forget? It's ElliotDesai.com. But that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Ciao. Bye. You guys are perfect. You guys are so perfect.